Hi, fifth graders. So I'm making a video about our problem for uh, so-called Cindy's cats, which I know some of you who are cat lovers, as am I, will love this. Well, will like working on a problem where you have little cats to look at. Um, I've been fighting my cats off all day. So I was like trying to make videos and plan this weekend. And the cats keep jumping up because the, my, my kids were gone this weekend. So they're jumping up all the time, bothering me. They just want somebody to play with. And I'm like, come on, like, please let me just get these videos done. But in any case, remember on any type of work that we do now in math, most of our problems, you're going to have to do the work in your notebook, like doing... Um, addition and subtraction of fractions should happen in your notebook. It should not happen on the computer because it shouldn't be happening when you're typing it in. I want to actually see how you did it, the process. So what you have to do is take these problems and do them in your notebook. So you can label them. This is you know called Cindy's Cat. So you'd put the title, you'd put the date, and then you'd say number one, right? And you don't have to write the problem, but you do have to solve it. So label it, solve it, circle your answer. So Cindy has three cats, Tommy, S Sammy, Tommy, and Susie. Cindy feeds them on cat crunchies. Each day, Sammy eats one half of the box. That's a lot. Tommy eats one eighth of the box, and Susie eats one quarter of the box. What fraction of the whole box do the cats eat in all each day? Remember, in all, that looks like a clue, like that's a word that tells us what we're supposed to do. So if you are going to be adding fractions here, you want to find a common denominator, right? And if you want to do the butterfly method, you can, but you'd have to do it one section at a time. Like the butterfly method works well when you're only multiplying or adding two fractions. It doesn't work when you're doing three. So you'd have to do the first set and then you'd have to multiply whatever answer you get there, um, you'd have to add it to the last fraction to find the, the total answer. Um, but in this one, it, common denominators might be better, right? It might be simpler. All right. Uh, number two, Tommy and Susie spend much of the of each day sleeping, as do my cats. Tommy sleeps for three-fifths of the day, and Susie sleeps for seven-tenths of the day. Which of the two cats sleeps longer, for longer? How much longer does it sleep each day? So when they say how much longer, that's a comparison. That's a difference question. Right. So that is no longer butterfly method. Now we're talking about finding a common denominator and doing a subtraction. Right. So as we go down, problems get a little, they change a little bit. Each one's a little different, but there's number three and number four. Number three is talking about how much milk they drink. Number four is talking about how many times they use the door. So it's a little more complicated. And I want you to give these a shot. So um, see if you can figure these out, especially number four. And when you finish them, or when you get um, most of it complete, and you're pretty happy with your answers, label them, circle your answers, show how you did the work. And then you're going to take a photo and you're going to upload it. Uh, up here to the beginning of this document, which is in Google Classroom. You can open the document. I want your photo then to be at the top. So I'll see your name and the date, and then I'll see the photo of your work. So if you can do the work on one page in your notebook, that would be ideal. And you could take a photo with either your device or your or camera or a phone, but a photo that I can actually see the work that you did. Right. Make sure the lighting, either daylight or a decent light is on it so that when you upload that photo, I can actually read the math work. I can see the work. And if it's if I can't see it, then please take another photo, like fix it. Right. So pay attention to that stuff, because it's going to really matter when we do um, kind of uh, when we do any work like this, where you have to upload your work to me and show me your your written work. It's going to matter that you actually take a, a decent photo of it. OK, I hope you enjoy doing the cat problem. I will talk to you all in a video. I'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, all of you. And then um, hopefully the videos have are, are helpful and you're getting used to kind of a, a little bit new model of teaching here with the new kind of hybrid and remote models. And I hope all of you are having a great week. All right. Bye, everybody.